Hey everybody, this is the Moe Chicken, and this is Wrecking Crew. Now, Wrecking Crew, for those of you, those of you that don't know, is uh, an NES, I guess you'd call it a puzzle game, would be probably the most accurate way to describe it. It stars Mario, doing yet another one of his many Mario jobs. He's been a plumber, he's been a construction site worker, and this time he is a demolitions expert. The goal of Wrecking Crew is to basically wreck everything. <clears throat> There are, there are a variety of things in each level that can be destroyed, like I'm, you can see me breaking a bunch of different things. Uh, those walls can be destroyed, the, some of the ladders can be destroyed, and your goal is to just sort of wreck it all. While not getting killed by that thing over there. As is always the case with Mario, he's being hounded by monsters. He really can't seem to get away from things that want to kill him and or wreck, wreck his day. Heh, <laughs> wreck his day. And, uh... Basically, the, yeah, the, you're, you can't really do a whole lot to fight back. Your goal is really to just sort of avoid them. Oh, these guys. Now, these guys, I think, in the manual are called Eggplant Men, but a good friend of mine always called them Purple Idiots, and I really can't think of them as anything other than Purple Idiots. So those, those are Purple Idiots. Anyway, like I was saying, the goal is to destroy everything. You're just kind of trying to get to the level without, without, um, without dying, and also but with the everything destroyed. Now, I say it's a puzzle game because there are a lot of situations. Now, it, right now it's pretty easy, but there are a lot of situations where you can sort of get in an unwinnable state. Um, and in fact, that's kind of the larger part of the uh, the game, is you really have to plan. So say, look at this for example. If, now, if I jumped off of here, I would be able to get down to that platform down below. However, since there are no ladders leading back up here, there's no way I could get to that platform floating in the middle. So you have to know, well, you have to know to get killed by fire. It's very important to be killed by fire. That's part of the game. Now, what I was saying is I'm going to have to jump off of the ledge onto that uh, oil drum there and then down onto the platform in the middle. So a lot of it is just sort of planning out what you're going to do. And a lot, some of it's, I think just about every level can be beaten. And I just sort of, you, you can pause the game and allows you to scroll around and look at the whole level if you want to. And I think just about every level can be beaten just by observation, but what it comes down to usually is a lot of trial and error. You just sort of look at the, you try the level, realize how you got into an unwinnable state, and just resolve it. As you can see there, I, I had to, whoa, I almost got killed by fire. I did mention that's an important part of the game. However, I'm going to go against the goals of the game for the time being and actually beat the level. Anyway, so yeah, there, there's a ton of ways that you can mess up in this game, and they're, you know, not the least of which are these little monsters you, got, you see roaming around. Now these guys, I think they're supposed to be, like, crescent wrenches? There are a couple of things you can do to fight back. As you saw there, I um, used a bomb to knock that one guy down. And you can also use the bombs to escape yourself, you know, by sort of exploding the bomb and launching yourself off off a off the side of the construction site onto the ground which I will do shortly like this we <laughs> there's there's no there's no downside to it it's oh bonus stage there's no downside to it it's just for fun but um oh now you see that guy back there now I think he's just called the foreman he's a pain in the butt I always thought of him as Wario actually I don't think he's supposed to be Wario I'm not even sure if Wario existed I think I think Wario came about with um, Super Mario, Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. He may have actually shown up in Mario Mario and Wario, which is a game we didn't get. But, um, oh, this this level, okay, it's a race against time. Those guys will climb down there, and I basically just have to destroy the ladders and wait for the level to end without them killing me, because I have very little room to run. But it's it's a fun game. There's a lot of variety to the to the levels in this. There's a lot of things you can play around with. There there are some there are some secrets. Actually for most of my life I didn't know there was a special like golden hammer you can get that 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 same friend who called those guys purple idiots uh, taught me existed because I didn't you know I didn't know it existed. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do in this game. It's pretty fun. It's it's a you know it's a fun little game to play. And one of the nice features about it is that on the main screen, it's got a hundred levels, and you can just push select to choose your level. So there's no passwords or anything like that. But you just sort of like start where you want to. Which and I think there's kind of a difficulty progression. I've never actually gone through every single level, but you know it's a it's it's a game where you can kind of just 
choose choose a level at random if you want to. It's like, ah, oh, I want to do level 65 today. And it's fine. The game's not going to penalize you in any way for doing that. And I'm going to jump down. I think that's going to do it for the level. Yes! Yes! By throwing myself off a building. That was the solution. Now, a lot of... Uh, the, the levels kind of, kind of fall into different uh, general molds. One of the mo more common ones, like in this case, is going to be a race against the foreman who will do that. He loves to knock you down. Now, in this case, it was relatively benign. I didn't really get hurt, but he will oftentimes by basically he, he's he's on the other side so he will break a wall you'll fall off oh, more purple idiots uh, purple idiots now these guys have to climb down a ladder whenever they reach one so they're pretty easy to avoid you just stand behind the ladder but anyway oh yeah so the foreman so he will oftentimes break something knock you down to a lower level and then you will get in sort of an unwinnable state through no fault of your own. You can do the same thing to him, you can, you know, knock him down in just the same way, and in fact that's usually the best thing you can do with him, is just try and hide him somewhere. Uh, okay, so to explain a little bit about the monsters, they're only really, I, I, I guess you'd say, four, if you if you count the foreman as an, as an enemy, there are only really um, four types of enemies in the game. Now these purple idiots, they just keep walking forward. They will always walk forward, and and they will always climb a ladder, and that's all they do. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh crap. Oh, oh, they're coming at me! <laughs> okay, okay, I thought I was gonna die. Um, the purple idiots, they just, they just walk forward. Now, the, there are purple crescent wrenches, which will, um... Gonna knock them down. Get wrecked! Heh, <laughs> wrecking crew. Get wrecked! Um, the, the purple crescent wrenches are a little bit smarter than the orange ones. They will try to... Where is he going? I don't know where he's going. Now, if he gets the coin before you, you don't get anything. You just get the bonus. I think I think you get the points for whatever you wrecked, but you don't get the coin. Um, but the the crescent wrenches will, ch uh, the purple ones will chase you a lot. The red ones will just kind of move around. They're usually pretty easy to deal with. Um, but the purple ones are very clever and can be a lot of trouble. So you have to kind of like lure them around usually. Also, you can see I, there's nowhere I can really trap the foreman this time. I just kind of have to deal with him. He's just going to be running around. Oh, jeez. Okay. So the bombs. Uh, oh, and let, let me let me finish introducing the monsters. I'm getting I'm getting. Uh, I think it just. Yep. Okay. So now the, this level is in an unwinnable state. I actually cannot beat it because I can't get up there. So I have to push select. I think it's select. Uh, what's the what's the kill yourself button? There's a, I thought there was a kill yourself button. Okay, I just have to kill myself. Um, I thought there was a kill yourself button, but I guess not. Anyway, so, yeah, that, that's an example of a situation where you can basically mess yourself up, screw yourself over, and just not be able to succeed. <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, monsters. So, the only other type of monster is, are the, uh, the red wrenches. Uh, crap, crap, right, go, run, 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 run. Okay, I'm like, I'm okay, I'm okay. So now I have to try and keep these... Uh, they're gonna kill me. Yeah. Every once in a while you can use the bomb and, like, it'll blow them up before it blows you up. It did not happen in that instance. I just got killed. But, um... Anyway, so, yeah, the red ones are very much like the purple ones, but they're stupider. They move a little bit faster. And, um, you, they're, they're a lot easier to, to deal with because they're not prone to turn around like these guys are. The purple ones will often turn around while, you, while they're chasing you. Which is a bit of a nuisance. Anyway, so the types of terrain, as you can see, they're these sort of white. I always thought they always thought they kind of looked like lockers, um, and that's the best description I can give for them. Um, and usually, things that are sort of white in color can be destroyed in just sort of one swing, um, with the exception of the white walls, which cannot. But then you also have the brick walls. There's a white brick wall which takes two shots. There's a gray brick wall which takes three shots. I think that's the most difficult thing to destroy. Those green uh, kind of look like steel girders up there. Those can be destroyed, although they do not have to be destroyed. Um, usually you would... Uh, I'm gonna die. Oh wait, maybe, maybe, maybe? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Hooray! That was, that was mostly luck, but I'll pretend it was intentional. <laughs> so as you can see, I, I beat the level without having to destroy the girders. So really it's mostly just the stuff that's... Oh yeah, duh, okay. The stuff that's flashing is what needs to be destroyed. I forgot that the game gives you a visual cue. So, there you go. Um, but it's a fun game. I, I feel like I'm kind of rambling a little bit. I'm trying to explain a lot that I don't really need to. 
it, it's just one of those games that you pick up, you have fun with, and I like it. I think it's a good one. So, I've played it for many years. I've uh, Again, I've never beaten it. Uh, it's got 100 levels, and I usually sort of lose enthusiasm after a little bit, but, um... Oh, so now here's a devious trap. As you can see, there's a steel, there's an oil drum directly above me. Let's see, how many lives do I have? I think I've got enough. Um, so you might be like, oh, this bomb, it'll, it'll take out this thing and I'll be fine. So you hit this, and then you get crushed. And yeah, I cannot escape from this. Uh, I have to... Uh, shoot, I have to reset the game, but now I can't remember how to do it. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm in a pickle. Give me just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. I uh, <laughs> Apparently my controller was not registi registering the select button, which is the kill yourself button. I knew there was a kill yourself button. I just, it wasn't working, so. Anyway, so yeah, as you, as you saw there, I basically got myself trapped underneath this drum, and it ruined my life pretty much you know I couldn't get out I could not escape from that situation so I had to basically quit um, but I think this will work maybe drop that purple idiot down he's gonna run around for a while just wanna make sure I don't miss anything alright I need this guy you see, a, a lot of the game is sort of like that, where you're like, I need to go here, I need to hit this guy, I need to make sure I do this before I do that. Uh, it's just a lot of that, because you, you want to make sure you don't close off any paths before you need to. So I, I, I'm, I'm always very cautious about destroying ladders, because I never know if a ladder's going to be needed later on, but I think this should do it, and I just follow these guys. Usually you're, I mean, you're usually safe following a purple idiot, because they're just going to go forward usually. Unless they bump into something they can't go through. And I'm going to hang out in this pit. Yep, I'm fine. Yeah, if I had not been fine, I would have just had to sit there and wait for them to walk over and kill me. But fortunately, that was not the case. Alright, I think this is level 10, 11. I'm probably going to quit after this one. I just want to keep this one, this, this video relatively short. But I thought y'all might be think it's kind of cool to see this game. Now, I'm dealing with a red guy here. A red wrench. As I said before, the red wrenches are a little bit dumber. Um, they're a little bit easier to deal with. They will still follow you. They'll still change direction in some instances, but they're just a little less proactive about it, and they're a lot easier to fool. So the goal here is I want to defeat all the stuff up t Defeat. I want to defeat these walls. These walls must be defeated. <laughs> I have to defeat these walls up top first, and then I can drop down to the bottom. Unfortunately, there was no way that I could actually... Ooh, how am I going to do this? Um, okay, I'm gonna have to, let's, I'm gonna have to try and get him up top. Uh, oh, I gotta be fast, gotta go fast. Oh, oh that, that could have worked, I could have done that, I could have knocked him down. I was gonna say that there's no way I can get him down to the lower level, but I could have done it if I just, you know, destroyed the ladder while he was on it. Anyway, there's a, there's a whole lot of this going on, a whole lot of, like, breaking walls, doing, doing demolition, that's the name of the game. It is a construct, or it's a demolition game. But it's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's it's easy to pick up and play. It's you know it's just got move and, and hit with hammer. It's very easy to play and it's very easy to like understand the controls and such. And it's it's good. It's 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 another one of those examples of an NES game that's just sort of fun to play. So and I have defeated the level or I've beaten the level once again. And that is going to be it for this time, because this level has lots of drums and looks like, okay, I'm going to play this one too. You guys get to watch me suffer through this as well, because this this level looks like a nightmare. But we'll find out. We'll find out if it is, in fact, a nightmare. Because, okay, so as you can see, if at any point the foreman knocks me down into that area down below... Look at, let's see, I think... Yeah, if he knocks me down there at any point, I'm stuck. I cannot get out because they're 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 drums on both sides and there's no way to knock it down. So I have to get all of this up here first before I before I go down there. So we're gonna see how this works out. Oh oh crap! Him too. Uh. All right all right. I'm just gonna have to keep going. Actually, did I knock the foreman down? Where is the foreman? I don't see him. That worries me. It worries me when I don't see him because that means he could be anywhere. That's not good. He could knock me down at any point. Okay. I think I have to destroy the... Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna try and trap this purple this purple wrench. Yes. All right, so you do get extra points when you do that. If you if you manage to drop a barrel on top of an enemy, you get extra points, which is kind of cool. And I'm I hate that I didn't actually get the special hammer. There's a special hammer. You have to do, do certain things to uh, to. Whoa, fire! Uh, <laughs> almost played by the game's rules again and got myself killed by fire. Um, there's a special wrench you can... Oh, there he is. That you can get that will wrench. So there's a special hammer that you can get that will uh, allow you to swing the hammer much faster for a brief period of time. So I think... What do I have to do here? Um, gotta pause. Gotta think. Uh, Alright. I need to be able to... Did I just ruin it for myself? I may have just ruined it for myself. Oh no, did I? Did I? Basically, so I need to get in there, the, the, the area in the middle, but I also need to be able to get to that, um, that white ladder on the outside. So is there any way that I can get down there? Oh, I might be able to do, oh, I think I got it, I think I got it, okay. So I gotta go up here, gotta break this, and I break this. And so now I think I should be able to get back out afterward. Let's hope, because otherwise I'm just screwed and I've just, every, all things are ruined. Uh, knock him down. Yep, I think I can get out this way. Just keep knocking him down and get points for it, whatever. Um, get wrecked! Uh, yes, I'm gonna beat it. Okay, so actually that level wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be really bad, but nope, not bad at all. Anyway! Thanks for <laughs> the level went on, the game went on a little bit longer than I intended to, but thanks for stopping by. Hope y'all enjoyed this, and I will see y'all next time.